this is where we left off. We had created an, an animated uh, piece of confetti and then we created our particle. So now I want to go and uh, I want to select, let us play for a second. I want to go and I want to select all of these confetti objects. If you remember we created a 25 frame animation and animated some movement and we were and then we created an animated snapshot of every frame of that movement. So we have 24 different um, objects here. Then we're going to select the uh, particle and then we go into in particles instancer replacement and we want to click on that and you get a large window and I'll put as much as I can up here for you to see and what it does um, we're going to name this uh, confetti instancer I'll leave, I'm going to leave the default step cycle is uh, how often do I want um, what it's going to do is going to put one piece of geometry in there for a frame and the next frame it's going to swap that piece of geometry for a different piece of geometry and the third frame it's going to swap that one for another one and uh, because we have this animated it's going to make this appear as it as if these particles are objects that are moving but actually they've been pre-animated and they're set so here it lo loaded them in order and something you do have to do if you, you decide to do this, it loads itself by default. It puts a particle one in there. You don't want that. You're going to take that out, uh, remove items, and now I'm just left with uh, those particle shapes. Okay, and then I just want to uh, I'll accept the defaults on everything else and hit apply. And all of these are going to be one color and as you as you notice here um, see they're kind of moving as that they're created. Now we need to get rid of the spheres so let's go to the attribute editor and if we can find the shading section uh, where it says blobby surface we're going to change this to points. Points don't render and now we're just left with uh, these. Now we could put some more turbulence on there and uh, we could give it a lifespan. I think they're still kind of big. I'm going to take all of them and scale them down even more and see what that looks like and I may add some now um, if you do want different colors there probably is a way <laughs> to do that through some sort of expression or the like or you could just repeat this process over again and apply a different shader and have one particle going across with red and one particle going across that has a white shader on it and they're they're mixing in together um, that's uh, that's how I would do it uh, unless you have the time to look it up and uh, alright the only other thing I like to do uh, here would be to uh, maybe spread out those particles a little bit more and put a little bit more turbulence and maybe give us a max uh, life give us a lifespan to jump into our particles one last time and go to the top so instead of live forever let's say a random range and let's say by about five seconds now let's go seven seconds and give yourself a three seconds. So that you know, 
confetti is not like snow it does not dissolve in the air but I'm thinking it's going to be past the ground plane by that time depending on how high it is and if you have too many uh, particles in here they're going to start bogging down the scene so you do, I don't I do want some of these to begin dying off um, so to say this is the ground plane and the other thing I want to do is to take my turbulence up a little more I had it at 150 let's take it up to about 250 give us a little bit of randomization and one other thing I want to do on the particle is um, no, it would be on the emitter. Is uh, right now they're all forming right there at the emitter itself. So let's have a min distance. The minimum distance is going to be uh, let's say two. So they're not all. Can't tell if that did anything or not. Kind of looks like money falling, <laughs> but it's important to note that uh, this animation is not controlled. the The confetti's animation, where it's moving, is not controlled by any kind of dyna dynamics or wind. The kind of the point, the pivot point, the position is, but the rotation, all that was pre-animated and uh, into the uh, particle sprite. All right, so um, max distance, let's give it a min distance of five. It doesn't seem to be doing what I want it to. Max distance of 10. There we go. That's more along the lines of what I wanted to do. So max distance of seven. And so let's take a little render of this and see kind of what it's looking like. And uh, there you go.